subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Salesforce Administrator, ADM 201. Salesforce Administrator, ADM 201, exam is for the candidates, who have knowledge of Salesforce community, and want to add more knowledge to their skill set to serve their company in a better way. What is Salesforce Administrator exam? The Salesforce Administrator credential is designed for individuals, who have experience with Salesforce, and continuously look for ways to assist their companies in getting even more from additional features, and capabilities. There are two certifications within the Salesforce Certified Administrator program. The first is the, Salesforce Certified Administrator credential, which focuses on the features, and functionality used to maintain a Salesforce implementation. The second certification in the program is the, Salesforce Certified Advanced Administrator. This credential is targeted toward the Salesforce Certified Administrator, who has mastered Salesforce configuration maintenance, can demonstrate an understanding of administration best practices, and is able to use the advanced features, and functionality to solve a variety of business problems. Now we will discuss about, Exam Overview. The Salesforce Administrator exam consists of, 60 questions which can be expected in multiple select, and multiple choice format. There are 5 questions that are unscored, and are asked for improvement, or other issues related to the exam. 105 minutes are allotted to complete the exam, and the cost of taking the exam is, $200. Passing score for the exam is just, 65%. You can take the exam at a proctored on-site testing center, or through proctored online method. There are no prerequisites for the exam, however, Salesforce recommends having knowledge of some basic concepts. Registration Policy you can schedule your exam at Criterion Global Testing Solution. Go to official Salesforce site, and create your Web Assessor account. Select the exam, and follow the other on-screen dialogues. You are all set for taking the exam. Now we will talk about, recommended knowledge, and experience for the exam. First, candidates should be able to maintain a Salesforce organization, respond to common business requirements, and perform administrative functions using current Salesforce features. Second, candidates should have six or more months of experience as a Salesforce administrator and should be able to successfully perform the tasks which has been defined in the syllabus outline. Exam Retaking Policy The price of retaking the Salesforce Community Consultant exam is 50% the actual amount of taking the exam. Therefore, the price for retaking the exam is $100. Salesforce updates all certification exams three times per year in accordance with Salesforce release cycles, winter, spring, summer. Within each release cycle, you have three chances to take the same certification exam, i.e., Salesforce Certified Administrator. First, if you fail your first exam attempt within a release cycle, you must wait 24 hours, before registering for a second attempt. Second, if you fail your second attempt within a release cycle, you must wait 14 days before, registering for a third attempt. Third, if you fail your third attempt within a release cycle, you must wait until the next release cycle begins before registering for the exam again. Syllabus Outline for Salesforce Administrator Exam First, Organizational Setup, which compromises 3% weightage for this exam. Second, User Setup, which compromises 7% weightage for this exam. Third, Security, and Access, which compromises 13% weightage for this exam. Fourth, Standard, and Custom Objects which compromises 14% weightage for this exam. Fifth, sales and marketing applications, which compromises 14% weightage for this exam. Sixth, service and support applications, which compromises 13% weightage for this exam. Seventh, activity management and collaboration, which compromises 3% weightage for this exam. Eighth, data management, which compromises 10% weightage for this exam. Ninth, workflow or process automation which compromises 8% weightage for this exam 10th desktop and mobile administration which compromises 3% weightage for this exam 11th app exchange which compromises 2% weightage for this exam let us now talk about syllabus outline topics in detail number one organizational setup 3% it contains first describe the information found in the company settings for example, fiscal year, business hours, currency management, default settings. Second, 
distinguish between the various UI features that an administrator controls, including, the implications, for example, UI settings, search settings, list views, homepage layouts. Number 2, User Setup, 7%. It contains. First, identify the steps to set up and, or maintain a user, for example, assign licenses, reset passwords, and resolve locked user accounts. Second, understand the implications of activating, deactivating, or freezing a user. Number 3, Security, and Access, 13%. It contains First, explain the various organization security controls, for example, passwords, IP restrictions, identity confirmation, network settings. Second, given a user request scenario, apply the appropriate security controls based on the features and capabilities of the Salesforce sharing model, for example, organization-wide defaults, roles, and the role hierarchy, manual sharing, sharing rules, and public groups. Third. Given a scenario, determine the appropriate use of a custom profile, or permission set using the various profile settings, and permissions. Fourth, describe how folders can be used to organize, and secure communication templates, dashboards, and reports. Number 4, Standard, and Custom Objects, 14%. It contains. First, describe the standard object architecture, and relationship model. Second, explain how to create, delete, and customize fields and page layouts on standard, and custom objects, and understand the implications of deleting fields. Third, given a scenario, determine how to create, and assign page layouts, record types, and business processes for custom, and standard objects. Number 5, Sales, and Marketing Applications, 14%. It contains. First, given a scenario, identify the capabilities and implications of the sales process. Second, given a scenario, identify the appropriate sales productivity features using opportunity tools and know when products and price books should be used. Third, describe the capabilities of lead automation tools and campaign management. Fourth, describe the capability of Salesforce content. Number six, service and support applications, 13%. It contains. First, describe the capabilities of case management, for example, case processes, case settings, and case comments. Second, given a scenario, identify how to automate case management, for example, case assignment, auto response, escalation, web to case, email to case, case teams. Third, describe the capabilities of Salesforce knowledge. Fourth, describe the capabilities of the community application, for example, ideas and answers. Number 7, Activity Management and Collaboration, 3%. It contains. First, describe the capabilities of activity management, for example, manage tasks, events, public calendars, multi-day events. Second, describe the features of chatter, for example, feed, groups, following, security. Number 8, Data Management, 10%. It contains. First, Describe the considerations when importing, updating, transferring, and mass deleting data, for example, CSV files, data quality, field mapping, record IDs, external IDs, duplicate records. Second, given a scenario, identify tools and use cases for managing data, for example, data loader, data import wizard. Third, describe the capabilities and implications of data validation tools. Fourth, Describe the different ways to backup data, for example, data export service, exports, data loader. Fifth, analytics, reports, and dashboards, 10%. Sixth, describe the options available when creating or customizing a report, for example, report type, report format, fields, summarizing data, filtering data, charting, scheduling, and conditional highlighting. Seventh, describe the impact of the sharing model on reports. Eighth, describe the options available when creating and modifying dashboards, for example, dashboard components, data sources, chart types, scheduling, and running user. Ninth, describe the capabilities of custom report types. Number nine, workflow or process automation, 8%. It contains. First, given a scenario, identify the appropriate automation solution based on the capabilities of workflow or process. Second, 
describe capabilities, and use cases for the approval process. Number 10, Desktop and Mobile Administration, 3%. It contains. First, describe the capabilities of the Salesforce mobile app. Second, describe the installation and synchronization options of Salesforce Lightning for Outlook. Number 11, App Exchange, 2%. It contains. Identify use cases for App Exchange applications. Now we will discuss about preparatory resources. First, books for Salesforce Administrator exam. Books are indeed the first resource that comes to our mind while preparing for any kind of exam. They are readily available, and we choose books according to our ease. You can refer to many books available on online stores, bookstores, or libraries as per your level of understanding. You can refer to some of the books mentioned below. 1. Salesforce Advanced Administrator Certification Guide Become a Certified Advanced Salesforce Administrator with this exam guide. 2. Salesforce Platform Developer 1 Practice Exam Dumps 2020 Salesforce Platform Developer 1 240 Plus Exam Questions 3. Salesforce CRM The Definitive Admin Handbook, Build, Configure, and Customize Salesforce CRM and Mobile Solutions, 5th Edition 2nd, Trailblazer Community, Online Community Online Community is the best platform for asking your doubts related to the exam. There is no better guide than an experienced person, so, don't be hesitant to ask your doubts related to the exam. You can also ask the people about their study strategy, and other useful resources for the exam. Trailblazer Community This is an official community by Salesforce so, this is one of the authentic sources. Third, online classes, and instructor-led courses. There are many sites that are reliable enough in providing online classes, and instructor-led training by world-class trainers. These trainers have complete knowledge of the subject, and can be really helpful in gaining conceptual understanding, and clearing the doubts. Fourth, practice papers, and test series. After you are done with preparation of the syllabus, you need to practice a lot to pass the exam. As the exam is not so easy going, you need to make sure that you have had enough practice. Try a free practice test now. You can find the practice papers on various reliable sites, and on also on the site of Salesforce exam. Practicing more, and more will help you in identifying loopholes, and weak portions of your preparation. This will help you in improving, and knowing the level of your preparation, 